online video games here, currently playing the Old Republic, and let's read some of the descriptions. I'm going to choose my class, Jedi Knight, leaders and warriors, heroes and champions, the Jedi Knights have stood at the forefront of every battle, they are masters of the lightsaber, ours kicking, jumping, and flashing through the air, and using the force to clear the way in front of them. And they can also disintegrate lightsabers, I forgot to leave that out. Jedi Counselor, a master of the secrets of the Force. The Jedi Counselor is both fighter and healer, teacher and student. What about Professor? The Force can be used to cloud the minds of weak, restore strength to the fallen, and hurl both opponents and objects through the air. Smuggler, living life by their own rules. Smugglers are the galaxy's most unpredictable characters. They dress for ease of movement with a healthy dose of style, carry one or dual blasters and are always ready to shoot first, stealth up and sneak away after. Sounds like the PvP class. Across the galaxy, the Republic's elite special forces drop into the harsh, harshy conflicts ready to do maximum damage. Outfitted with advanced armor, huge weaponry and the best possible and the best training possible troopers combine leadership with suppression fire, a variety of explosives and incendiary weapons. I want to be a Jedi Counselor. They have melee, they have range, they can heal, they can probably buff. Let's go for it. Jack of all trace. Select species. Human. By far the most common species in the galaxy. Humans are versatile and the norm against which other species are judged. Sociability rally rallies nearby nearby allies. Nearby allies. Um, these are not humans, so they could survive a billion hits. When's the last time you survived a billion lightsaber hits and walked away in condition? Merlin, the deeply spiritual Merlin people, I wonder if there's racial bonuses too, have a religion built around a basic concept of the forest and tattoo, geometric designs onto their faces to celebrate Life achievement, sociability, focus, ritual, undergo a focus on ritual to rest and recuperate the spirit. We're now playing as them. Twilight. Instantly identifiable by their colorful skin and long head tails called Liku. The Twilight people have long been oppressed with only the rare rubrics given slavery, sociability, parry or dance performs a unique. Culture dance. Zabak. Fiercely independent and identifiable by their horns and facial tattoos. Zabriks have two visually different culture groups split almost perfectly between Republic and Imperial Space. Sociability inspires loyalty, inspires loyalty from nearby allies. And Murlaka, born without eyes, a uh, near human. Murlaka possesses a uh, unusual ability to see the force beam of the galaxy by how the force moves through a social ability, sense force alignment, sense the target's alignment with the force. What race should I choose? Hmm. I'm stuck between, I guess I'm going to choose a. Let's see here. I know. Let's see if I should choose a Merlin. I wonder if this actually benefits you. The social ability. The culture dance doesn't seem to do anything. This reminds me of Kenshi from Mortal Kombat. This is kind of like Darth Maul. via Merlin. Is this racial ability does benefit you? Look, this one does a dance. Cultural dance. This one says undergo focus and ritual to rest and recover the spirit. So it sounds like it can benefit you. And do I have one horns coming out of my guy's head? Okay, we're gonna go 
was in Merlin. I'm just going to completely revamp it. Obviously now. See the body type. And the guy's like the Hulk. You got one. You got two. You got three. You got four. Three's good. See our heads. Alright, stay tuned for the next part. Thanks for watching.